What's up, YouTube? Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get these videos when they drop. And make sure you share these videos. Now look, today an official for the Crips LLC told the Blast that there will be no trademark legal battle between their organization and Black Sam. The statement adds that the company respect, respectively vows to support the wishes of Lauren London and the Ascadon family. Hmm. I wonder if that phone call got to them that I made. Them, you know, they, they changed their minds. Or was it the guilty motherfucking conscience and they knew that the pressure was on from all of the fans and everyone who love and respect Nipsey? Either way, I'm glad they decided to change their minds because they was disrespectful from the jump. Now, the Crips LLC went on to say that we realize that our actions may have been offensive and we have reached out to his family, respectively Nip's sister, Samantha Smith. Well, hell yeah, y'all's actions was offensive. Man, y'all's actions was y'all's actions was way more than offensive. Shit, and Stevie Wonder could see that. He could see that on a on a, on a, on a bad day. William King Hollis, the corporate communications director for the Crips LLC, said, "We are deeply sorry for any disruptions and melee that the trademark acquisition may have caused to his family, friends, and fans." Now, peoples. I don't believe he's sincerely sorry. I don't believe his apology is all that sincere. I know that his ass is upset that he knew they wouldn't be able to capitalize off of the Marathon Continue slogan and the pressure was on their asses. I definitely wasn't going to stop kicking. I wasn't going to stop kicking at their ass and put the pressure on as well as all the dips fans too. Fuck that. I was going to keep mashing. Anyway, Hollis explained that he had been in contact with Nipsey before his untimely death and the two had agreed to work together on a mutual, uh, a mutual collaboration for the marathon continues. You can make your mouth look, check this out. You can make your mouth say anything it wants, though it's a person's actions that will expose their true intentions. And this Hollis dude is a liar because if you were going to collaborate with Nip before he died, then why not reach out to his brother Black Sam like you reached out to his sister Samantha? You could have you could have easily reached out to Black Sam and was like, hey, check this out. Me and your brother was going to collaborate and we was going to, you know, do some business with the marathon continues. And I was just wondering if everything would be all right if I used the trademark or Y'all can still have a trademark or whatever, and we do whatever. But I already know he was lying, and that was bullshit because, for one, Black Sam would have known if they was going to do business, if him and Nip would have even had business. And for two, like I said, he would have reached out to him. He wouldn't even, he wouldn't even went the route he went, the foul route. Shit. Anyway, they thought that they would be able to slip through the cracks without anybody really giving a fuck about them using a the trademark. And you fucking crazy. The world noticed and mashed on y'all disrespectful asses. I'm glad I made that phone call. I know that shit did some damage. He also stated that there was no malice when applying for the trademark and asked that currently there are no members in the LLC who are members of Nipsey's crew or the Rolling 60 Crips. We already knew nobody in Nip's crew was fucking with the Crips LLC, though we not sure if about there not being Rolling 60 Crips being in the LLC, and I mean specifically, like Big U. I ain't talking about the ones that fuck with Nip, I'm talking about Big U and other dudes like him, and other dudes from other sets like him. You know, that's, that's why he made that statement, and I know for a fact that my phone call sparked a flame that lit the fire up under their asses and made them realize that the world was watching and we not going for it. These motherfuckers should have never attempted any foul bullshit like this without reaching out to Black Sam in the first place. And I don't know at this, 
I don't know at this moment if Nip's family or Lauren London has even accepted the apology. You know, that's that's their business if they uh attend you know, that's their business if they uh going to accept the apology or not, you know. You can't you can't make nobody accept it and you can't tell them not to. So, you know, it is what it is on that end. Now, the Crips LLC organization organization is prepared to turn over the trademark to uh, Nipsey's family, although because it has not been fully processed, they can probably file to abandon their own application and let Black Sam's application go through, which I believe, which I believe that's probably, you know, that's, that's the only thing that's going to happen. That's the most logical thing that could happen anyway. And they are also allegedly offering to donate all the proceeds from an, up, from an upcoming Bloods and Crips themed cola. The colas will be available for purchase on July 15th and supposedly pay homage to Nipsey with the release of a limited edition beverages. Man, boy oh boy, I tell you, I tell you, they asses was, you hear this shit? They, they, they asses was ready to make a lot of money until the fans stepped in. They had this shit all mapped out, all planned out. And, and, and proceeds will be donated to Time Done, which raises awareness around the legal barriers that people living with convictions face. And this was allegedly endorsed by Nipsey. Now, if anybody from any Crip set in L.A. approached the Crips LLC and hollered at them about this situation, that it was wrong in the first place, then I salute y'all. I salute anybody who mashed on them like I did. I salute you. I'm, I'm just excited and happy that they won't be able to be using the trademark and it stays with its rightful owners. And this is a victory for Nip's children and family. And with that said, the marathon will surely continue and it's right on schedule. And people, I just want y'all to know, you know, anything is possible. You know, you just got to keep mashing and we just going to keep mashing on this shit. Fuck it. We just going to keep doing what we do. Whatever it is you can do to help. Now, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you hit that notification bell. Hey, share these videos too. Make sure y'all share them with your family. Share them on YouTube. Share them on whatever social uh, media platform that you be on. Just, just share it, especially Facebook, so everybody can see these videos. And I thank y'all and appreciate y'all too. Peace.